What is going on everybody? My name is Ian from Audi Ontario. Today we got the beautiful 2022 Audi RS3 in Python Yellow. Today we finally got the 2022 RS3 and check this thing out. Completely redesigned from the front all the way to the back and everything underneath as well. The headlights completely redesigned with that checkered flag running daylight and a pretty cool greeting when you walk up to it. We'll get into that just in a minute. But as you can see, completely redesigned with an aggressive styling. This grill takes up the entire front bumper, but it gives it a really menacing look from the previous generation. This incredible Audi logo is implanted in here with the RS3 logo. You really know what you're coming up on when you see one of these. This beautiful Python yellow goes great with the accenting with the black and just an absolutely beautiful car, which I'm so glad we have today. So besides all your front sensors, the adaptive cruise control, all the lane assist, all your normal sensors that we have throughout the Audi uh, line, these come with these incredible matrix headlights standard in the US market. So we're incredibly lucky to get a greeting feature when you walk up to the vehicle, it says RS3 in the headlight. How much cooler can that get? You showing this to your friends when you purchase this vehicle and you got this incredible RS3 logo inside your headlights. Just an extra really cool feature here at Audi. So of course I had to pop the hood on this beast here to show you the underworkings of what this thing has. You might notice a familiar sight here if you're familiar with the previous generations. And yes, you'd be correct. It's the same 2.5 liter five cylinder turbo that the 2018 and 2019 RS3s had but it has a little bit extra pep with 401 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, launching it in the mid three second range for zero to 60, which is incredible on a entry level vehicle like the RS3. And not only on top of the engine, I said earlier that it was completely redesigned. Well, yes, the body was as well as the all wheel drive system. It has a very complex and incredible new all wheel drive system that has a quote unquote drift mode. This allows you to send 100% of the 50% of the power to a single side of the vehicle, giving you these fun little drift moments, which unfortunately I wish I could replicate for you guys here on camera today. So we turned the 2022 RS3 on its side and it is beautiful from every single angle, completely redesigned with an inch wider on either side in the front than the standard A3, giving you 265 millimeter tires in the front and 245s in the rear. That extra staggered setup for some extra grip, launching you to that mid three second range. You can see the beautiful accenting, the black accents that go on the bottom, on the top here and on the mirrors, and you get two different sets of wheels depending if you get the performance pack or not. These ones are the beautiful gloss with the silver undertones and even darker tones here. You get these amazing six piston front brakes, very similar to the TTRS I also did. You can also get ceramic brakes for the front of this RS3, first time available on an RS3, which is awesome. You can also get satin black wheels as well, which give it also a very aggressive look. And then coming around here towards the back end of this RS3, you can really see how aggressive the lines are looking from this way on. You can also see how much wider the car is by this little cool vent that's in the side of the wheel arch, giving it a cool old school rally day uh, design to it as well. The rears are these steel single piston brakes because you're gonna be using most of the braking power for the front end of the vehicle, which is also really cool. Usually I wouldn't point this out, but this is just a personal favorite. You have to feel the door handles on this car. For some reason, they just feel incredibly solid and they have a really cool finish on the back end for that keyless entry, keyless go but they just have a really overall satisfying feeling when you grab them. Turning around the RS3 to the rear of the vehicle, and once again, you can see the rally-inspired rear bumper here with these really cool inspired vents in the back and these oval exhaust tips. That is a kind of throwback to the previous generation, but it's always been in the Audi lineup is those oval exhaust tips. With the RS performance package and these other packages we can also offer on this vehicle, you can get those black tips and you can get a sport resonated exhaust as well. Also on the RS3, we can get the blacked out emblems like every other Audi in our lineup 
and you can get a carbon rear spoiler as well, giving you a more performance-esque and attitude to the vehicle. We didn't just stop at the really cool headlights. You have these incredible rear tail lights with the LED lights, and it gives you sweeping motion with the turn signals and LED backup lights as well, which when most people are gonna be only looking at your tail lights in this vehicle, it's important to give them something good to look at. And here it is. Popping the trunk on the RS3 here, and we can see the incredible amount of space in this smaller car. Also, if you put down the second row of seats, you get even more space for your daily needs and goods because you're gonna to wanna to drive this every day. If we pop the little hatch right here in the back, you're gonna see there's no spare tire, but the trade-off on that is you get the battery in the back for better performance weight distribution. You also get a can of Fix-A-Flat to get you to the next destination to get your tire fixed. So we are inside the 22 RS3, and while whoever sits in the back would definitely prefer to be driving this, I have to say I can't complain. This is a very nice uh, seating arrangement for the smaller car it is. Like you can see, I, I'm in my driving position here, and I have about two or three inches of legroom between me and the seat, which means I can sit back a little bit farther, and they have a little divot in the uh, roof here to give you extra room on your head. Also for more rear seat comfortability, we have not only two USB-C charging points here, which are the fast chargers, you also get three zone climate control. That means the driver gets their own temperature, the passenger gets their own temperature, and the rear seats get this cool little slider in the back here to control whether they want it hot or cold for the rear seats. And these small vents, while they might look small, they actually quite pack a punch, and they're strategically placed to give the rear passengers that extra cooling or heating ability. And you can see you got this nice drop down center armrest here with two cup holders, very good size cup holders for the rear seats as well. And I honestly, I really can't complain. It, everything is very nicely manufactured. Everything from the leather, it feels great, to even on the side door panel here, we can see we have the extra LED interior lighting. The door handles are extremely nice, redesigned as well. So you kind of have open them from the bottom here, or you can open them from the top and the Alcantara door inserts here as well. And despite this being a smaller car, you really cannot complain about the rear seat. It's ton of space and ton of fun, and who wouldn't want to invite a couple more people to enjoy this incredible experience in the 22 RS3. So here it is, finally in the driver's seat of the 22 RS3, and I've never been more excited to be behind the wheel of a car than this one right here completely redesigned on the interior for the new A3, S3, and RS3 models. We can see the one familiar sight here, again with the Audi Signet, the Quattro badge on the inside to remind us of the legacy and the history of the Quattro name and to know why that Quattro name backs up the vehicles. These incredible vents here, once again, like the door handles on the outside, probably one of my favorite, most aesthetically pleasing things to touch inside the car. They have a nice click and a nice build quality on like aluminum finish as well. We can also see these incredible seats which are hard to miss, that iconic hexagonal pattern now with Audi brand. Can't forget the RS logo and brand new to these seats as well. Optional red and green stitching on the inside depending on what design package you get. This one has the full blackout package, so you get the black stitching and the black Alcantara on the back of the seat right here. Moving forward to the center console here, this looks might look a little strange for new people here with the Audi brand. We are going along with Porsche and Volkswagen, going to these different shift levers here, give you more of a minimalistic interior space, but you still get the familiar shifting uh, up and down in the center here. Also, you might ask, where's the volume knob? Obviously, there's the one on the steering wheel, like usual, but no longer do we have the knob on the inside. Now, it's a wheel that you use with your finger to swipe right for the volume to go up and swipe down for the volume to go down, along with the power button, mute button, and back and skip as well. All right here in this nice little dial right here, it actually surprisingly works very well. It's not like a lot of these other haptic feedback features where they kind of go dead over time, not to say they're good dead, but this actually works very well. I found myself to use it a couple times while driving this, despite having the one on the wheel. It's just once those, once you pick up on it and once you start to learn and feel with it, it works very well. Finally back after the whole shortage, we finally have the 
uh, wireless charging back, which I absolutely love, especially with the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You just place your phone there, wirelessly charged, don't worry about it. If you do like using the cable still, we have two more USB-C ports up here for extra charging power. They charge extremely quickly and you probably won't even have to have it plugged in for most of the time. Moving up here, you might see a new dial here. This is pretty familiar on the A4 Prestige, Q A5 Prestige, and the Q5 Prestige. But now with the A3, S3, and RS3 standard, meaning you don't have to buy this extra park assist. This means the car with its sensors and cameras will find a parking spot and parallel park or back in or head in on a parking spot, which is absolutely incredible. And usually with this feature being around for so long, you would think that it doesn't work as well, but I can tell you surprisingly, I picked it up on my first try as well. It's absolutely incredible feature. Of course, we have our hazard, but the drive select. Drive select is new here on this RS3. When you press it, we get this cool screen and there might be some buttons here that we don't recognize in other S3 and RS3 models. So in the drive select screen, we can see the standard comfort, auto and dynamic. Finally, with the RS3, it will get the updated RS modes with RS individual, RS performance, and something new to the brand completely, RS torque rear. I mentioned earlier about the power being sent to one side of the vehicle for drift mode. That's exactly what that is. You push this button and it will activate the RS torque rear as we can see here. That turns off the traction control and recommended as a track only feature. Really cool, get some skids, kind of extra party trick there as well. And then pressing this will launch you into the full track experience with the RS3. That'll put you in the fullest RS mode for your steering, your suspension, and your all wheel drive uh, LSD system as well, which is absolutely incredible. There's a quick button, not only here, you don't have to worry about these buttons here, there's a button on the steering wheel now that just says RS. You press that and it'll automatically put us into the RS mode, which the active, uh, exhaust there it opens up and it gives it a great sound there it kind of caught me off guard you also get with our brand new digital display on the rs3 you get the what they like to refer to as the landing strip display here where the tachometer will come towards us as if we were in a fighter jet which is absolutely incredible adds that next level rs mode there as well we can also see we have the g meter like a lot of the other vehicles and you might not see the navigation on this vehicle as it doesn't have it, but it's also an option as well if you wanted to option that in the vehicle, which is, again, next level, having the maps there, and then you got your RS mode display screen here, which is, you can see all the temperatures of the vehicle. It's extremely nice. And then, of course, having the Apple CarPlay, have your phone synced up, incredible. I do like that the buttons are still physical. They add a nice kind of extra connectivity with the vehicle. They also feel great, just like the vents and the door handle. Heated seats for both the driver and passenger, and it's an overall great experience. You can also get the car with the RS design package. It will come with the Alcantara steering wheel or this perforated leather for either driving needs or wants. Like I mentioned in the rear as well, you have the full interior accent lighting that will come along the center of the dashboard here, the doors on all four doors, and the footwell and a couple other projections along the center as well. And to finish up here in the 22 RS3, we can see these beautiful aluminum finish shifter paddles that feel great when you're shifting up or shifting down. We also have the adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist and lane assist as well. Give it a nice little touch here in the LA traffic, which brings me on to let's hop in behind the wheel and take this thing out on the road and see how it goes. All right, so here it is, the 22 RS3, finally driving it, finally behind the wheel, and this thing is incredible. This is a monster of a car. I haven't even driven it more than a couple feet, and I can already feel it wants to go. This thing was built to go, it wants to go. I have it in comfort auto right now, and at the push of a button, we switch it over to RS, and it just becomes an absolute monster. All the RS modes, like I said earlier, the suspension, the steering, the LSDs, the exhaust, which you're buying the five cylinder turbo, <laughs> that just, whoo, man. And then tuning capabilities, like I said in the TTRS video, if you haven't watched that already, absolutely incredible car. These things were meant to go, and I love the rally inspiration behind everything. 
it feels great. It does feel a lot more sturdy than the previous generation. That's what I like. I feel like I can chuck it into a corner because that all-wheel drive system is a lot better. When I turn the corner, it just feels absolutely incredible. All right, so finally getting it up to speed, up to the speed limit here. So the 22 RS3 is an absolute blast to drive. Like, <laughs> I wanna convey the emotion and the feeling behind driving this car. And it's hard, of course, watching the video and seeing the absolute motion and everything that's involved when driving it. But you hear the sound, you hear the shifts. It feels raw. That's the problem with a lot of new vehicles. They, you don't feel in control. Yes, you lose the manual, you lose a couple other like more in-depth features, but Audi has been able to make this car feel so much more raw, and that adds to the driving experience. That adds to the driving feel, and you just feel like a rock star driving this vehicle. It you can't get you can't get anything better than this. For the price range, for what you're getting, this is probably the best Audi in our entire lineup. I mean, I've had people who've bought an RS7s, RSQ8s from me, and they're on the wait list to have one of these vehicles. Because with Audi, what Audi does such a great job at is conveying this incredible motion throughout their entire lineup. You're not buying the smaller car or the quote unquote cheaper car because it's cheaper. You're buying it because it has a lot to offer that a lot of the other vehicles do not. Like that turning radius. I went from the single lane to I could have probably kept it in the single lane on the other side. That RS mode right there. Again, opens up the exhaust. Sounds great. So of course it comes with adaptive cruise control, lane assist, um, that traffic jam assist, which actually works very well. It works quite incredible actually. Um, but for a performance car, and personally what I would use this car, I probably would never use any of the driving assists. Not to say they don't work, because I've used them in the A4, the Q5, the A3, and for those cars it makes a little bit more sense. And again, if you're gonna be driving this every day, sure, I'll take every other extra feature that makes sense for this car. But it is a performance car. That's one thing you have to be reminded of. And the suspension feeling, the way it drives, you wouldn't be able to tell. It drives sturdy when you want it to. It's very comfortable when you want it to. Unlike a lot of other performance cars where they stick to one thing. That's one thing Audi is so good at. They're so incredibly good at taking the best of all worlds. And I just push a button, it goes back into auto, comfort. Steering loosens up, suspension loosens up and I can feel it too, it, it feels great. Like when I you know go side to side, it's it just like you can feel the car hold its corners, hold its edges. I'm not being sloshed all over the place. I feel like I could chuck it into a corner and it's gonna hold me. I don't know what else you would want more from a vehicle. I mean, besides it being a hybrid and wanting better MPG, but you sign up for that when you buy this car. You're not looking for the best MPG, which funny enough, you could probably get like 30 plus out of this car. Thank you so much for watching today's video on this incredible 2022 RS3. If you like what you saw, please give it a like, comment what you think, and of course, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.